my echo. So me re re do. Do me do me so. So la so so me. Me re do do do. Do. Do la do re do. Do re mi mi re do. Do mi so mi do. Do la do mi so. So. Great job being my echo. This time, I'll show you the hand sign pattern. You get a chance to sing it, and then we'll sing it all together to check our answer. Here's our first one. Start sun so. Your turn sing. Sounds like this. So me do do do. Good. Here's the next one, looks like. Your turn, sing. Should have sounded like do, re, mi, re, do. Good. Next one looks like this. Your turn, sing. Good should have sounded like do me so la so good. Here's the next one looks like your turn sing. Should have sounded like so me me re do. Fabulous, awesome. Thanks for using your inner hearing to think through those melodies and then come up with the correct one to sing. That's really tricky, but you did a great job. Let's get on with our lesson now and see what else we have in store. Review our sevens beat game. I've brought a real metronome. Last time I was using my iPad and showing you the app. Well, this is a, what a real metronome looks like. And if I adjust, this little weight right here, and there's numbers, if you can see real close up there, there are numbers that show us the beats per minute. So I'm gonna set this to 160 beats per minute, and if I start it, you'll hear that that's what it does. So let's review our patterns at 168 beats per minute. Or 160, that's right. Here we go, ready? Here we go on pattern one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, that one's easy, right? What about pattern two? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, do you think you remember pattern three? That's the pat, clap, snap one. One, two, pattern three. Pat, clap, snap, pat, clap, snap, pat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, you getting that one? Let's do that one one more time. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fabulous, okay, pattern four, that's the tricky one. You ready? It's a pat, cross, pat, clap, snap, clap, pat. Ready, here we go. Pat, cross, pat, clap, snap, clap, pat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, good job, good job. Let's do that one again. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good work. I'm gonna stop the ticking on our metronome. Good. <laughs> I can't make it stop unless I, there we go, watch it. All right, well, really good job reviewing the patterns 
with me. I know that was maybe a little bit speedy. So let's go back in one more time. Patterns one and two, I think you've got. It's just the padding or the pat clap. One important thing is don't make your motions huge. We don't have to be like way up here, right? So in pattern three, when we go pat, clap, snap, pat, clap, snap, pat, we can keep it close to the table or the desk. Let's try it. Ready, go. Pat, clap, snap, pat, clap, snap, pat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, how about the fourth pattern? Let's try that one again, keeping it small. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Okay, well, we're gonna stay at this tempo. We're gonna try it from the beginning, patterns one through four. Remember, it's two times through each pattern every time. Let's give it a try. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pattern two. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pattern three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pattern four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. All right, if you need to try that tempo again, you can go back and rewind it, try it again. If you're ready to go faster though, I'm gonna bump us up to, let's try 176, see what that sounds like. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Good job, how did that go at 176? Were you able to do it? All right, well, if you need more practice at that speed, you can rewind it back and do that one again. Let's bump it up to 192. All right, let's try it this tempo. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, all right so how did you do at 192 beats per minute were you able to do it all right if you're ready for the next challenge the fastest this metronome says it goes is 208 so let's give it a try one two here we go one two three four five six seven instead of the third. Let's try that one more time. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Woo, finally made it through that one. How about you? All right, we've got lots of challenges there. Try every tempo more than once if you need to so that you get a chance to get really, really good at that pattern. If you're like, nah, that's too easy for me. I need more of a challenge. Well, we're gonna try this. We'll go back to 168 and see if you can do the patterns backwards. So start with pattern four, go four, three, two, one. Okay, that's our goal. We're gonna go backwards, ready? See if we can remember how to do it in that order. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Were you able to do that? All right, I know it's a real challenge whenever you're trying to think backwards through that. So here we go. We're gonna now go from the beginning. We're gonna go pattern one to pattern four and then back to pattern one. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, three, two, one. 
Okay, here we go. Stick with me, I'll try to shout it out. And I bet you can go, we'll go at 176. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, pattern three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Yeah, good job getting the whole way through that and remembering and thinking ahead for the order. In music, we have to think ahead a lot. Musicians have to look in the music. They have to look ahead at the notes to know what's coming. They have to think about their dynamic level, their tempo that's changing. If they need to look up at the conductor, thinking ahead is a huge part of music. So let's try that again. Now that you've done it pretty well at that tempo, if you need more practice, you rewind and do it. But let's try that one just a little faster. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, three, two, one again, but a little faster. One. Two, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Good job. Isn't there a sense of relief when you get back to pattern one? Cause you're like, okay, I don't have to think. I can just tap for seven and I'm good. I feel that way at least because otherwise I'm stressing out about trying to remember the next pattern. All right, well, hey, I had fun doing that with you. Now that you're getting really good at the patterns and messing around with the order of it, we have some more fun coming with our sevens beat game in the future. So keep up the good work, keep practicing, challenging yourself and see how fast you can get and you know a really good way to learn stuff? Teach somebody else. So teach somebody else. I'm not telling you to do it at the dinner table and get in trouble during dinner, but might be a good place to do it, who knows? So teach somebody else the sevens beat game and see how fast they can go and if y'all can keep up with one another. I'm in Washington, D.C., and I'm right in front of the Washington Monument. That's right. I got stuck here, so I thought, why not share with you in person the Washington Monument, and we can talk a little bit about the Star Spangled Banner. So the Star Spangled Banner was written in 1814, and Francis Scott Key was a 35-year-old American lawyer who, he had a friend who had just gotten arrest, arrested by the British. He goes onto this British ship to try, he's in like the, the Chesapeake Bay Harbor uh, near Fort McHenry near Baltimore. He goes on the ship to try to rescue his friend and get them to release him. And then when he's on the ship, he hears about how they're gonna attack the Americans and they won't let he and his friend go after all. So he's on this ship during the Battle of Fort McHenry he hears all of these bombs being set towards Fort McHenry and he is sure he's gonna wake up in the morning to see the British flag called the Union Jack flying above the fort. But lo and behold, whose flag is flying but the American flag like you see here all around the Washington Monument. So that night while he heard all of the bombs going, Francis Scott Key wrote the words to this poem and then he set them to a popular English song. His brother-in-law actually then had it published under the name Defense of Fort McHenry. So would you please stand up and sing the Star Spangled Banner with me and I'm going to do it right here in front of the Washington Monument with you. Are you ready? Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose 
broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were clear the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave awesome job thank you for singing along with me and I know you all know that song because we sing it on K-Paw so often. So thanks for learning about the Star Spangled Banner with me, singing along, and getting to see the Washington Monument. How cool. We're going to be practicing singing some pitches on the staff today using our low la, do, re, mi, so, and higher la. So hang on tight, follow along. We're going to do each example two times through. So if you don't get it the first time, don't stress out. You're going to get a second chance every single time to try it again. And you can always rewind it if you need more practice. You're going to see that on every example, the first space is labeled do. So if, it's, if there's a note on the first space, it's do. So in this example, we have three do's, right? Well, we jump down to a note that's lower than do, and that is our low la. So will you please help me sing this pattern? Ready, sing. Do, la, do, la, do. Good, let's try that again. And if you need an extra challenge, you can always use your hand signs while we're singing for an added challenge. Ready, sing. Do, la, do, la, do. Great job. Here's our next one. So we start on our do again. We're going to jump down to that low la, back to do. And then we have a big jump up. What are we jumping up to on that fourth note? That's right, it's so, because if do is on this first space, that means me would be on the second space, so so would be up here. So we already said this is so, and this would be me, that's right, because do, me, and sno so always tack like a snowman. Sorry, I meant to say so, snowman. So if you would put them on top of each other, you would see they always come like that. They're not kind of cattywampus on lines some on lines, some on spaces. Do is on a space, then me would be on a space above, and so on the space above that. So let's give this one a try. Ready, sing. Do, la, do. So, me. Ready, sing. Do, la, do. So, me. Good, that's a challenging jump from do to so, isn't it? Ready, sing, do, la, do, so, me. Great work on that second time through. Here's our next one. Now, I know you're gonna see this new looking bracket. That's because sometimes this bracket is what's represent used to represent do. So do is still our first space. That's all that's telling you. Let's check through these notes. If we start on do, our second note would be, that's right, it has to be re because we gotta remember me was on that space. That means re is on the line in between. So we have, at the, from the beginning, we have do, re, me, and then we jump up to, that's right. So step up to la back down to so, because this is our high la. All right, let's give it a try. Ready, sing, do, re, mi, so, la, so. Good 
job. Let's try it again. Ready, sing. Do, re, mi, so, la, so. Beautiful work. Let's check out the next one. All right, we've got another low la coming in here. See that one? All right, and then we have our skips from do, mi, and so at the end. Let's give it a try. Ready, sing. Do, la, do, mi, so. Great work. Let's try that again. Ready, sing. Do, la, do, mi, so. Beautiful. Here's the next one. Oh, let's try that one again. Ready, sing. Do, la, do, mi, so. So we start on do, we have some steps up from re then to me, and from me, right here, we're gonna leap up to what note? That's right, la, step down to so. Ready, sing, do, do, re, mi, la, so. Beautiful, let's try that again. Ready, sing, do, do, re, mi, la, so. Great work. Here's the next one. Oh, we don't start on do this time. What do we start on? That's right, we start on so. And we have all skips from so down to me, do, la, and do. Ready, sing. So, me, do, la, do. Good, let's try that again. Ready, sing. So, me, do, la, do. Great job. Here's our next one. What pitch do we start on this time? Yes, we start on me. Good work. The space above do is me. All we have are me's, do's, and that one low la. You get ready to give it a try. Ready, sing, me, do, la, do, do. Good, let's try again. Ready, sing, me, do, la, do, do. Good work. All right, what do we start on this time? Yes, me again. Good. We have, let's see, we have a step down to re. We end up on two do's. And then our last two notes, we have a big jump up to what? La and so. You've got it. Let's give it a try. Ready, sing. Mi, re, do, do, la, so. Good. Let's do that again. Ready, sing. Mi, re, do, do, la, so. Beautiful job. All right, this time we start on do. Good, we're finally back on that first space starting. We have a big leap up to, good. So, back down to do. That low note's what again? Good, low, la, and we end on do. Ready, sing. Do, so, oops, ready, sing, do, so, do, la, do. Good, let's try that again. Ready, sing, do, so, do, la, do. Very nice job. Hey, great work singing through all of those solfege syllables and those patterns with me. That can be really tricky. If you had trouble or it didn't make sense, go back and try it again. See if some repetition will help you out. It's one of the best ways to learn how to read notes on the staff, doing it over and over again. If you need a big challenge because it was too easy, then you should turn off the sound and see if you can sing all of those examples on your own. Well, good luck and have fun with your soul fudge singing. In your assignment today, 
you're going to have two slides in that assignment Google slideshow. So make sure you do both slides. I'm going to show you what they both look like and how you're going to edit it to answer the questions. On the first slide like this, you are labeling the notes. So I've told you that the bottom space is called dough. If the bottom space is called dough, what would that make this space? That would make that so. So we click down here on the line and we put an S. Then the next note, it's the space below so, so that would make it, you've got it, that would make it a me because so and me are on different, they're a space apart, right? You've got to leave that line in between. We're going to make our text box a little bigger that way it doesn't wrap around like that. The third note is one step below me, and here's do. So what comes between do and me? That's right, it's going to be Ray. Now notice, you don't have to write the whole syllable, just put the first letter. I will know exactly what you think it is if you'll put the whole syllable. If you'll just put the first letter and not the whole syllable. So our last note, we've already labeled here this bottom space is do. Make sure that you put one note on each line like that for me so that I know which one it belongs to. So that's one part of your assignment is to do two of those. The other part on the second slide will look like this. You're going to be putting the notes where they belong on the staff. Same thing, do is the first space. So all I do is drag one of the circle notes onto the do space. And now we need to find me. If you remember from what we just did, do to me is a skip. So that means it goes from a space to a space. And now we need la. So we're gonna have to count up. We know that me to so would be here. So would be on this space. And la is one step above so. So we'll drag our la up to that line. And then so goes on that space. So again, you'll have two examples like that that you are going to be doing. Make sure you do both of them. Good luck placing the notes on the staff. Make sure you think through each one carefully and do all four examples. You've got this. You'll do a great job.